AMC closed today on a very flat note. It was supposed to be a day where, you know, we, we break out the $38 mark and staging the, uh, setting the stage to actually move on an upward trend here. But I mean, as I mentioned earlier with you on video yesterday, guys, the trend on AMC, it's, it's weird. It's not following anything, anything that's making sense anyhow. But I want to share with you something really interesting because I think this is bringing more awareness and is putting um, the short sellers, especially Ken Griffin from Citadel, on a very hot seat because we have more and more attention actually pointing to what is really the issue here with this situation and this play. All right. So again, back to what he said on The Economic Club yesterday. Chicago looks like Afghanistan on on a good day. And this is something that really pissed off the governor and he fired back at <laughs> Griffin. This is actually funny. I mean, it's becoming more and more difficult to have this as our global headquarters. So they are looking at moving this to another city if the, you know, the, 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 the officials of the Chicago city are not doing anything um, to bring down the violence and, you know, the, 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 the bad and beyond an environment which Ken Griffin believes is not good for business. Now, what is really interesting is how governor of Illinois actually replied to Ken Griffin. Ken Griffin is a liar. He lied to Congress last year and he's lying to Chicagoans now. Governor Priestler is dedicated to the safety of the city and state deployed National Guard during the social unrest in summer 2020. Just saying, I mean, the most interesting part here is the first part. Ken Griffin is a liar. He lied to Congress last year and he's lying to Chicagoans now. Let me pause here for a second. I don't think someone with the stature of a governor of a state in the US who actually publicly cite something like this without having something to back him up. All right. So going back to the whole Ken Griffin light on the oath, but this is not enough. This is not anything because we have even more pressure coming from a former SEC brand chief, Lisa Brankenga. She went to, uh, uh, um, on Fox Business, on Charles Payne's show a couple of days ago, and on her Twitter, she mentioned something also very interesting. Well, we don't know how, we don't know if Citadel was talking to the TCC as well. There is a lot that needs to be investigated. It does appear Ken Griffin was not wholly truthful with Congress. Not to use legal jargon, but that is a no, no. Well, guys, it may not have a major impact on the share price tomorrow or next week, but at least it has the ability and the benefit of putting more awareness, more pressure, more attention around this whole situation with AMC. Because if more and more people on TV, on Twitter, on social media from different types of you know, background, and more importantly, people have, you know, officials, Steve was a former official from the SEC, you know, talking about the governor from Illinois firing back and calling Ken Griffin a liar and lying to Congress last year. I mean, guys, these are all the things that are playing in our favor because it brings much more attention to this whole issue here about Ken Griffin not being what he wants the world to see him as, all right? This, this, this guy or the businessman willing to save the American dream. So the more people we have like this coming out and putting more attention on this, you know, uh, uh, the image and the, 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 the whole situation here with Citadel and Robin Hood is definitely a good thing for the stock.